mates of YouTube, Ozzy Marcel here, and it is another gorgeous day in the Capital Wasteland. So, back behind the bar this evening, back behind the bar, slinging drinks, making cocktails, doing what I do best. And it's kind of wild. And I was thinking about this, I think about this all the time, like living as a sober dude that you work in an industry where people are not sober. And I think the whole thing is, I can't remember who said it, but somebody said like, never trust, never trust a skinny chef and never trust a bartender that doesn't drink. And as some dude that isn't particularly rotund and some dude that is completely sober, it's, it's funny because it, it would be easy, especially in today's day and age, to take offence to something like that. But I just look at it with humour. I think being sober makes me a better bartender. I think being sober makes everything I do better than if I weren't sober, if that makes sense. Like, all of the goofy decisions that I made in high school or... Even in my very early 20s, like, I used to, I used to like this, uh, well, I didn't like her, we, like, dated for a long time, but I used to like this girl who drank pretty regularly, and we had, like, a crazy on and off relationship for many, many years, and she is a, just a, a tremendous woman, but I just sort of, I've, messed that all up because I was tripping on something else at the time and it's funny because most of the experiences that I had with her were like her drinking and whenever I'd see her she'd be drinking whenever you know we did anything together she'd have drinks and it's funny because like if that were anyone else if that were just a friend if that's somebody that if that was somebody that weren't that you know, they weren't a partner to me. I would have, like, asked them if they were okay, but because it was my partner, you sort of let things slide. And it's funny, those sort of exceptions that you make. And I've also noticed that when I'm making these videos, I'm always saying, it's funny, something's funny, this is funny, that's funny. And then it kind of reminds me of, um, what is it, Triple H, the wrestler? I find it kind of funny. But yeah, it's crazy how, it's crazy that people have this like, it's like a toxic relationship with alcohol and they don't realize that, they don't acknowledge it, they don't see it because they're too close to it, they don't, they don't, they can't see it and it isn't until somebody brings it to their attention that they, that veil is sort of lifted and they can see it and almost recognize it. Like, if you've got somebody that drinks pretty regularly, let's say they they drink like four or five drinks after work, and that's probably considered a lot of alcohol, but that's probably a lot of Australian guys. Like, most Aussie dudes I know will at least have a few drinks after work every day. And then, but that's like nothing. That's like, they, they don't consider that drinking. That isn't considered drinking. I mean, it is, but it, it really like culturally, socially isn't. It isn't until the weekend when the main event happens, when the drinking actually commences, that ritualization, that drinking ritual occurs where they will consume 15 drinks, Friday, Saturday, and then they do like the whole... Sunday fun day thing. I know a lot of the local footy clubs do the whole Sunday fun day thing and that's just wild to me and here in Australia right now coke is Almost probably a bigger social problem than alcohol is. I mean, they're both pretty bad, but cocaine is like such a big deal in Australia right now and Pretty much every local footy club like all the players are on coke Everyone's on coke. Everyone's on the powder and the reason why they're on the powder is because it means they can drink more and they'll be blind they'll 
you know, do a few lines and then they can keep drinking as though they haven't had anything to drink at all. Like, I worked in nightclubs in Melbourne for many years. I, you witnessed this shit. Like, you witnessed it regularly back then, but nowadays it's, it's super prevalent. And it's, for some reason, it's more socially acceptable than any other drug that you could possibly do like people they're openly they openly do it it's not like look i'm not a you know i i don't have a particular fondness for cannabis or anything like that but i recognize that it is the least harmful of any drug by far you know you've got to be you've got to be sort of blind not to recognize that but even that is considered more of a social faux pas more of like a niche case than somebody just doing a bunch of lines with their friends i don't get that man I've like never had that thing in me. I've never had that thing in me at all. And it's a dangerous precedent for young Aussie dudes and you know Aussie chicks as well. They do it they do it as well. It's a dangerous precedent to to set because it's one of that it's like that peer pressure thing where everyone everyone's mates are doing it so that's okay you can do it too because your mates are doing it. Well, no, it doesn't work like that and I I really hope that more people start to recognize that, you know what, that ain't my scene, that ain't my vibe. And they maybe try and not so much educate, although education always helps, but I'd really hope that these these dudes start asking their mates if everything's okay. Because if their entire life revolves around, all right, you get through your, your five-day work week, you slog through that, and then the only time you ever really feel alive is in that, you know, that Saturday, Sunday period. That's really rough. Like, if you don't enjoy your life for five days, but you only enjoy it for that two, that speaks to a, you know, a much broader problem within yourself. And... Aussie dudes, and it's obviously not just limited to Australia, but dudes, we've got to make sure everyone's okay. We've got to, you know, there's a huge, huge drug problem in this country. And you, it's, it's, again, it's funny to me that people just are blind to it because everyone else does it. It's, it's a dangerous precedent that we've set socially in, in the country. And I think we should probably, you know, ask our mates with more regularity. We should ask them with no shame and, like, completely remove ego from it. Like, you doing okay, mate? Are you feeling okay? Because you're drinking a lot and you're spending 500 bucks on blow every weekend, are you okay? Because that's a problem. And it's not just a social thing, you know? It's a it's a deeply inter internalized set of problems. And I think it's also a generational thing. I'm not saying it's generational trauma or anything like that. But I know so many dudes 35 and under that they live to sink piss and they live to do coke. So many. And again, I'm never in a position of judgment here because I'm not a I'm not the perfect guy. Just because I'm just because I don't drink, just because I'm a sober dude doesn't mean I'm like some fucking perfect paragon of morality or anything like that. I'm coming from this not from a place of perfection, but from a place of concern where we should be asking our friends, our mates if they're doing okay, because their habits are literally killing them. And you wouldn't want to pass those on to your kids, you know? Or anybody that may looks at you as a role model for them. I mean, here in Australia, in the AFL, that's the Aussie, Aussie Rules Football League, there's a huge coke problem. And they only briefly touch upon it in the newspapers and in the news because it's so prevalent rather than dealing with it they just can't kind of sweep it under the rug because it's easier than tackling the problem head on and i'm sure there are a lot of players that don't do any of that stuff that are like responsible adults that don't have those sorts of problems but it's up to them it's up to them 
to like catch up with their mates, to catch up with their, you know, fellow players and just ask them if they're doing okay because, you know, I do believe that an adult has the right to live sort of how they want to live, but a problem is a problem. And if your freedom also comes at the price of you having that, that problem, that monkey on your back, you know, that speaks to a broad, like a broader issue within the community. Anyways, if you're out there and you get to this point in the video, check up with your mates, ask them if they're okay, because their mental health is super important. And I don't think anybody benefits from having an addiction. I don't think anybody benefits from just getting pissed every weekend. And definitely nobody benefits from wasting thousands on cocaine. This sort of comes across like kind of preachy, but that's not my, that's obviously not my intent here. I just want dudes to be more accountable for their own mental health. Anyways, I hope everybody here has a beautiful day. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy it responsibly. Go out, rock out. And uh, until the next one, I'll catch you guys around.